what's up guys, it's Dr. Skate, what's up? I got my boy Cash, Randy, aka Cash. So what's up? I know let me back up a bit. Camera's a little bit off today. Um, so how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, subscribe now to earn more content and leave us in the comments below what you want us to review next. So in the comments below from the past videos, uh, I got a friend of mine saying, hey, get a longboard. So I was like, all right then. So I went over yesterday to the mall that's close by my house. I went there, get up here. and I went and got myself a Woo! nice, good old globe longboard. Pretty awesome. It's got its first scuff of the day. You can see it's by globe. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. It is a drop down board as you can see. So it drops down just about maybe an inch and a half. Really awesome, really cool. Uh, you go up, uh, you got Globe 72s uh, actually. These are 72s, which are pretty cool. Uh, 78A uh, special tires. Uh, they're manufactured by Globe themselves, so they got their own specialty. Uh, the bearings themselves, they are Red's Bones bearings, which is like pretty awesome, pretty smooth. I love it. They run so smooth. Even my boy Cash has written it. Your opinion on it? Uh, Red's. Um, uh, Reds is pretty good. They're ABIC 7, uh, ABIC, I think Reds are ABIC 6s? Yeah, ABIC 6s. ABIC 6s, which is pretty good for the price of 20 bucks. I mean, you're going to pay, if you're going to pay for bearings, I would go Bones or Reds. Reds preferably, they're cheaper, they're ABIC 6s. Um, other than that, this thing fucking flies, uh, this guy, he let me, he, he let me try it out for a second. I couldn't stop because I had sandals on. <clears throat> That's one thing I recommend, guys. If you guys are going to write these, make sure you guys have the right equipment, like shoes, something grippy, not sandals, because you'll eat shit. But uh, speaking of uh, eating shit and fucking... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, so I went I went out my longboard. I didn't tell you, but I went out of Trans Mountain uh, over here in El Paso. I went over Trans Mountain. I found a couple buddies that I used to ride a lot. They saw me come out with the board from the store where you're at Zoomies, <laughs> and they're like, yo, let's hit log, let's, let's hit uh, Trans Mount. Fortunately, we didn't have any cameras, so we weren't able to post a video. It was kind of late in, uh, going into the night, but as you can see, I really ate shit that day. I really ate shit. I got a nasty road burn. Luckily enough, I was wearing a jacket, I was wearing some shoes, I was wearing some uh, jeans. Luckily enough, I had my backpack on me, so that saved my head. And all in all, it's just all there, man. Like, wow. It, it, was, a, it was a really fun trip. Um, recommend it. If, you're gonna, if you guys are going to go longboarding mountain, mountain roads, mountain roads, the ones that are like flat surfaces that can run for miles, recommend it. Do not use rubber. Do not use the rubber tires that come on the boards. Sharp they, tires. Exactly. Shark tires or shred boots. Shred boots are the best. Shark tires, oh man. Shark tires, we can tell you, boy, do we have a blast with sharks. Sharks, they'll definitely work out for any situation. You can do mad power slides. Power slides, if you don't know what they are, basically you're going down on the board, you're making that turn. Once you hit the turn, you slide your board and you go with the turn. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it with this one because the tires are like out of a rubber material. But if you use shred boots or shark tires, oh man, you'll you'll power slide him. Even he's done it before. Yeah, I've wiped out a couple of times. <laughs> he's wiped out twice. Not on shark tires, on regular tires. Yeah, regular tires don't even try it. Um, so he does dip. <laughs> so real quick, as you can see, I have my mod. Very cool. Oh yeah. So uh, I did a review on the mod. He has his uh, bait pin, which is that one, the Eagle. St the Stoke R series. Stoke R series, which is pretty cool. It has green R, it's already coming off. Uh, I went over, at, uh, not when the same day I went to go and get the board, the same day I went to go and get, um, well, actually no, the same day I went to go and get my board, I went to go and get some new juice. This is um, gummy melt, melt flavor. I bought the 240. Um, Zero nicotine. Yeah, zero nicotine. 
I know my face has been cut off. It's just that my camera's not at the right angle. I have completely straight. So Let me show them the, the cloud disc mix. All right. So just for just for being that little tiny. So little. meanwhile, I'm gonna go get the 240 milliliter bottle, and my boy Randy's gonna explain to you a little bit about his vape pen and what he thinks about this one. All right. So I'll be right back. Boy, right. catch all you. Check it out. So basically, this is the Stoke R series. It's um. It's just, I forgot how much amps it pulls out, but basically, let me show you what this little thing can do. Damn, see? Small, but packs a punch. All right, so I went back upstairs. My room is literally up here, so we're in the living room. Uh, this is a 240 milliliter bottle. It comes in with this one, so that way you could leave this one here at home. You can see, he likes vaping. You can leave the big bottle at home, which is this one, and then take a smaller one. Now you could refill your juice, you know, whenever you need at wherever you're at. Uh, your review, about this one, what do you oh, think? I I haven't tried it. You haven't tried it yet? No, I'll try it. Alright, so So that was this one. So that's that one. You can see it one more time. Not that bad. So this is a smoke AL eighty five. One of smoke's smaller smallest ones, but still powerful. I think it's uh, 160 watts or... It goes up to an 85 watt. 85 watt. Mm -hmm. So on. That's on. Damn, big difference. And this is... <laughs> it's a way big difference. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so... What you think? Yeah, that shit's good. That's I know I'm right here on the side. Alright. So, yeah. Um, that one's good, man. Yeah, so right now it's already dark out. As you can see, I got my lights on. We're inside my, my house. Um, but tomorrow, I'll put, out that, uh, I'll put out a video of me writing the board. I'll probably have my phone with me. I'll record, you know, how it looks on the board, how it looks outside, how bright it is. How I'll record in back of them with another board so we can actually see how... Yeah, how uh, we'll try and do that tomorrow. That way we can... Um, I believe you're off tomorrow, right? You're working? Mm -mm. You're working. Yeah, so tomorrow... I got school, but uh, during the day of the school, I'll probably put out a video. I'll probably even do it over there. Got a nice blow nose. Uh, but yeah, uh, for those of you who saw my last, last video... Nice. Uh, for those of you who saw my last last video, I know um, I'm putting it out, but there is a video that will be coming up on how to play uh, this game, which is going to be awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know that game, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a very, very old game, and I had it backwards. I was trying it upside down. I am very sorry. There it is. There goes an L. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... For those of you who don't know how the board looks like, here it is, just really quick, now you can, now you can see. Mm -hmm. So, I'll uh, put out a video on that uh, one of these days, I'll probably be at school, you'll probably see with all of my homies. Uh, I'll put out that video, and then sure enough, I'll show you how to play it, I'll even teach this guy how to play it, because he wants to get into it. I'm making a starter deck for him, so that way he can understand the concepts, how to use them, how to, for, uh, how to, use, how to use the cards, basically. There's also another game that a lot of people um, might play it a lot, and they've heard of this one most of the time because it came out before Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's this one, Magic the Gathering. So, I have my own sets, as you can see in there. You can see I got my own sets, and I'll probably even show, show that one how to play. So that's a little upcoming video. Here's a little review of the board, and uh, I'll show you... Uh, on the next video I'll post, I'll, sh I'll show you how I, how I feel on this longboard writing it truly. I'll even show you how it looks like when I'm writing it. 
That way you can see it. And then after that, I'll have this guy ride it when he gets back home. He'll ride it. He'll give his opinion. And there you go. That's a full review. So, guys, this is part one of a longboard vape review. Vape Hope. it out. Vape it out. All right. So We're going to both do a vape to the screen. Vape to the screen. So, you indoor smokers. Fill this guy up. Just a massive cloud to finish it off. Woo! Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed um, talking with you guys, making sure you guys are up to date, and my TV is going to be acting up for Again, a little bit. On the exit? No. Right? It always happens every single time. Stupid TV! And there we go. Alright. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. Leave a comment on what you want us to review next. <laughs> and guys, I'll see you on the next one. I'm Dr. Skate, and right here on the side, you got cash. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Blow it, hit the blow it again. God damn! All right, go, go ahead and play. Later, guys. <laughs> Oh, remember I wanted to disappear like that girl? Oh, true. I wanted to disappear like that girl because right now when you do it, it just it made me it covered me.